Have I mentioned that I go to music school? I have, I, several times. If you know anything about how performing arts schools works, usually the capstone for your educational experience there is some kind of public exhibit or performance. In the case of music students, that is a personal recital full of pieces that you've learned over the course of the four years. Some schools, including mine, offer the option of a half recital where you don't perform the full capstone, but you do one that's about half of the length to kind of prepare you for the full one within the next year. And because I am an academic overachiever, I took the half recital option this semester. At the time I'm recording this intro, it is nine days away. I'm not stressed out about it at all. Before I even had the music picked out for this show, I knew I wanted to make or alter my own dress for this, and that is just what I have been working on for the past month now. I also have stated several times before that I am not the best sewist in the world. I am no Rachel Maxey. I will never be Rachel Maxey. So far, it's holding up. It seems to fit right. I might have to make one or two more alterations within the week that I have left to do so. Let me show you what we're working with. Okay, so this was the first and only sketch I did showing my vision for the dress. I had a very specific thing in mind. I wanted A-line. I wanted Regency. I wanted sleek and elegant and sparkly. I can't do that with my hair anymore. I couldn't find a good quality silver fabric that was just plain silver, but what I did find was this beautiful, elegant embroidered stuff. Joann's, and it was so pretty that literally it was the only thing I looked at and the first thing I bought. The base dress was a choir dress that I had in high school that surprisingly still fit me after all these years. My mom pinned the skirt and did some preliminary sewing, and when I got back to school after Christmas break, I did all of the rest by hand. You got a skirt to finish. I already did the first half of this off camera, just to make sure that I was doing it right and not completely packing everything up. And this is the part here where we cut out the zipper. I think the clothes are working with thread by hand is that it's gonna do that a million times hello i think i messed something up somewhere no i didn't mess something up my mother messed something up but it's okay because i will fix that for her and for myself once in a while i hear the door and i'm like oh is my roommate back and she literally left the class 10 minutes ago she's not gonna be back until like quarter to four I don't know how time works. Society, if I stopped poking myself, lol, well now even, what happened here? Jesus. I do know what I'm doing. Just not to the extent that others may think. I really wish I had like a cam on my glasses so you could see just what I'm doing with the stitches too. Cause this is uh, tricky, tricky. Like double, triple knot. My finishing loops. Cause I don't trust myself. We've got an overskirt. I don't feel like putting it on right now, but we got an overskirt. Today I've got this fun little thing called a pre-recital jury where basically the music staff tells you if you sound prepared enough to actually put on a show and if you're not, uh, they cancel it. So, there's two pianos in here because one of the practice rooms got renovated. So I gotta run through all of these 31 pages of music multiple times before this evening. I'm still not done the band dress because my trim still hasn't arrived. Which is weird because there's a Joanne's like 10 minutes from here. That's where I ordered it from. I'm, uh, I've been having a week, okay? Okay? <laughs> I'm recording a 
this one so I can yell at myself about it later. This is the bane of my existence. I'm a big one too. What happened? Gum school life, I mean gum. This I met her to the speech line. She's going so fast. Oh, Just stop playing ads and play my freaking arias. Every time I dislike an ad on Spotify and say I hear it too often, I hear it seven more times within the same day, and I wish it was so much easier to pirate Spotify Premium. This isn't the key I'm even doing it in. You cannot find a recording in the key that I do it in. I passed the PRJ, but that same day, I had to go back to Joanne's. I was a little overwhelmed by the amount of choices I had. Just look at all of this stuff. I didn't know what to go with at first, but after sorting through like five different options, I settled on this small rose gold lace. Also, there were some cute little headbands. I picked up a silver one, and this one was a contender too. They're so cute. Then I pinned the trim to the dress, cut it to the appropriate length, and started to fabric glue it. Oh, I'm weighing down the dress here too. The fabric glue was not a good choice. It didn't hold, it didn't spread correctly, and it was just gross. So back to hand sewing we went. I'm still very upset that the glue didn't work because it would have saved me so much time. It would have taken like a day to cure, but I wouldn't have had to sew everything once again. Still, it was good practice, I guess. Practice makes progress, and I've already said that this is not my forte, so... I don't know, blessing in disguise? Maybe? I also bought this silver brooch with little pearls on it for decoration. I pinned it in the front and center where the two ends of the overskirt meet, because I just thought it would look cute there, and it looked empty without something. Super easy to get on and just adds a little bit of pizzazz, you know? Pizzazz is such a fun word. Here I'm measuring it to make sure it's in the right place and it was in the right place on the first try. Very proud of myself. And then we basically had a dress. I tried it on and it fit surprisingly well. I am very proud of myself for not messing this up. I still felt like I had a little more work to do though. So, I set the dress to the side because I had nothing else to do with it, and I started working on shoes. I cleaned up these old black heels and prepared to use the leftover lining that I had to make little decorations on them. These things I have also had since high school and really haven't had a need to wear until literally now. I cut up the remaining trim and bowed them. They're so small, so it was difficult to make bows. And then I attempted to glue them on with the fabric glue again, but that absolutely did not work, so... Gorilla glue it was. Held them there for a bit until they dried, and they were adorable. I say again, the really crappy fabric glue was a blessing in disguise, because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten something so cute out of this. They look almost kind of like Monster High shoes, but the ones that aren't super duper over the top. Like you'd see these on a doll, right? I wanted to feel like a doll. <laughs>